this is a simple drip irrigation that I did this morning and it's worked just tie a rope to the bottle filled with water and then the water will just would be moving from this place to the place where you, you can see it's dropping you can see the water dropping small 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 it's worked the formula I, I, I used was the bobo you know those days the bobo we had internal and tail no? the, the cloth was inside the container which had the kerosene inside but then it amazes me how it could actually climb to the the top so the kerosene will now move from the base where the kerosene is contained to the top where the flame or the fire is that same approach I work this one out and you can see all this area is wet or moist but this place because some is not here there is no water here so what I have to do now is that I will now observe how many hours would it take for the water to work, to get finished then I know that this container can keep the soil moist for maybe 24 hours maybe 6 hours and then we start increasing so if 1 liter can be for a day then how many liters will be for 2 days 1 week and we go this is all about recycling we don't allow anything to go either we don't allow anything to go waste and then trying to solve most of the problems our farmers are facing with less cost but you see the money in the world but you can see this place too so this one will work if you are growing in rows if you are growing in rows this one will work so instead of using two bottles to irrigate two crops you use one bottle to irrigate two or more crops so when you are growing in rows this method will equally irrigate your system for you this is a educated farmer you know